Hello, CTG friends and viewers. My name is Jack Hummel, and you're watching CTG YouTube. Today, we are going to learn one of my most used finishing drill for younger kids. Watch the entire video if you want to learn how to become an unstoppable finisher. This is the Kyrie Irving finishing drill. The reason Kyrie is such a good finisher is because he can use either foot and either hand to finish, which means there's four types of combination off one foot. We simplify the terminology, you guys, so it's easier for younger kids to understand. How this works, we use the hoop as our anchor. Our insides and outsides are relative to where the rim is. So I'm currently on the right side of the court, meaning the left side of my body is the closest thing to the rim. So that'd be called the inside part of my body, my inside foot, because this side is closest to the rim. The outside part of my body would be my right, because it's the farthest thing away from the rim right now. So if we were to say the layup inside, outside, the first word is the bottom half of my body. If I say inside, then that means I'd be jumping off my left foot because my left foot is closest to the rim. The second word is the upper part of my body. So if I said inside, outside, I'd then finish with my right hand because that's the farthest away from the rim. The reason this terminology is so effective and useful for younger kids, if I say inside, outside again, that means my left foot we're jumping off of and we're shooting with my right hand. Inside, outside then has the same meaning even if I'm on the other side of the court. So if I say inside, outside, now what's closest to my body? My right side's closest. So I would jump off my right foot, shoot with my left hand, because now my left hand is the outside part, the farthest side away from the rim. This way we don't have to repeat left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. We can just say one word and it'll have two meanings on either side of the hoop. So we start our layups for this drill about 10 to 15 feet away from the basket, depending on how long your legs are. We always take two steps, and this is vital, two steps into our layup. Never three, never one. This helps kids get used to the fact of dribbling and stepping at the same time, okay? This prevents us from traveling as we're driving to the basket. We start square, we're in the middle of the rim, so we can attack effectively from right or left. So, if I said inside, outside for our layups, and I'm going to the right side, what foot would I be jumping off of? I'd be jumping off my left. The closest body part to the rim right now is my left side. So an inside, outside would be jumping off my left, outside would be shooting with my right. So if I know I'm jumping off my left, that means I have to step with the opposite foot, because I'm taking two steps again. So I step with my right and dribble at the same time here, we always pound the ball. Pounding the ball brings up the ball quicker to our waist and then getting to our layup. So I step with my opposite foot, which would be my right, right, left, up into our layup. Inside, outside, again, has the same meaning on the other side. So now I step with my left, boom, off my right, shoot with my left and up. This is why our terminology is so effective for younger kids. That was inside, outside. Now this is outside, outside. So if I'm on the right side, that means I'd be jumping off my right leg, shooting with my right hand. Step with the opposite foot. I just did a terrible job there. We always jog in between spots whenever we're doing any type of drill. So that was outside, outside. So you've learned two so far, inside, outside, and outside, outside. The third one is outside, inside. Last but not least, the fourth type of Kyrie finish is inside, inside. I promise you, 
If you master these four types of finish combinations, you will be an elite finisher. Every single day, this footwork is extremely important. Now you've learned the exact type of footwork that we want to use when we're doing our Kyrie finishes. Now there's three ways to actually finish the ball with our upper body. The first one is overhand, okay? This is the old school way. This is how most coaches teach how kids should shoot their layup. All three different types of upper body finishes each have their use. When we are close to the basket, okay, we are shooting overhand the old school way. Our hand is over the top of the ball. So say I shoot an old school layup or overhand, inside outside, this is what it would look like. Overhand up into my layup. My hand is behind the ball. The second type of upper body finish is underhand, okay? And this one, as a smaller guard myself, is one I typically use the most. Underhand is used when we are far away from the basket, okay? Because right here, see how close the ball is to my body? And now I switch to underhand, we get about a foot and a half more space. This is a foot and a half and more space that we can use to get off into our layup. That is why we use it when we're farther away from the basket. So if I know I'm practicing underhand layups right now for my Kyrie and I'm doing inside outside, I'd start a little farther back, probably around the free throw line. Since I am jumping farther, we then use underhand to create more space. The last type of upper body finish is called the extension layup. This is when our defender is right on the side of our hip and we use an extension, it's almost like a moving hook shot, to finish our layup. It will be impossible for your defender to block it if they're on your left hip, which is when you should use the layup. They're either gonna follow you or you're gonna be getting your layup off. This is what an extension finish would look like for an inside-outside. That is also one of my most used finishes right there, since I am a smaller guard. So for video purposes, I'm gonna go through every single type of combination finish with overhand, underhand, and extension. Inside, outside, 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 inside, and inside, inside. Here we go. Now, whenever we're talking about the upper part of our body for our finishes, and it is an inside finish, so one would be an outside inside, we normally always use an underhand upper body finish. The reason for this is it's extremely difficult to get your hand at a good angle using overhand into our layup. Typically, if it's an underhand finish, we want to use it for a better angle into our layup. So there will be no overhand finishes for any upper body movement that is an inside finish. Now we'll go to the other side. Again, terminology means the same thing on either sides. That's why it's extremely important to use this for younger kids. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube, give us a like, follow our Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter please. Free content is on every single one of them each day, helping you guys to get better. You will not find a better education 
for youth coaches or youth players. As you can see guys, I'm wearing the Live Like Tony merch. You guys can still get your gear. Email jackhummel12 at gmail.com for your order. Thank you for watching you guys. I'm Coach Jack. We out.